I was just watching Not Enough Dirt. And he has a lot of roly polies, sow bugs, potato bugs. And I have pretty much wiped out my whole population between the chickens. And this is my way of capturing sow bugs. Let's see if we can do it with one hand. This is the large round paper punch. And, okay. We all need three hands. That's all to it. I punch holes around the lid, several of them, put it back together, then I go and bury it in the garden. And, unfortunately my back is out right now, so it's more difficult for me to do anything again. But, there's ways around it. If you want a garden, you'll find a way. And make a, make a hole so it fits in it. and put something over it, something that they would normally climb under to hide. Lots of little pieces are better than one big piece, but right now one big piece is all I have. And this works great for the roly-polies, potato bugs, sow bugs, and it even works with pinch bugs and earwigs. So if you have a problem with little pests and you don't want to use any kind of chemicals or anything else to try to get rid of them, I just trap them. I feed them to the chickens. But if you can't feed them to chickens, you can always dispose of them in your own little way. Drowning works nicely. And another one of my things is this has got a hole in the bottom. Because we have to ration water. When I water, I fill that up so it slowly seeps in instead of just sitting on top. And it waters a lot deeper. Well, well, not enough dirt. This is how I get rid of sow bugs. You might want to try it. Just scatter them around your garden here and there. And pretty soon you'll have less and less sow bugs to catch. Hope this helps someone. And these pretty blue ones have a little worm on the inside, a little parasite, and that's what makes them turn blue. If you're really interested, if you pull them apart, you'll see the little worm. That's too gross for me. I'll take their word for it.